What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite set review on the WWE Elite Top Picks 2023 wave. Now, maybe 2024, but today we're looking at three WWE Elite figures. Now, to be honest with you, this is kind of just one figure review, you know? Because over the last few sets of the Top Picks wave, they've been doing re releases, man. We've seen re releases of previously released WWE superstars in our Top Picks or Top Talents waves. Now, this is not something that's necessarily new, but I feel like it's stands out more today and we'll kind of get into that you know we've we've seen the Braun Strowman's of the world over the years we've seen some Roman Reigns a lot like a ton we saw Goldberg with Jeff Hardy remember when they had the Jeff Hardy wave and then they had Roman Reigns and Goldberg in that wave I think the only reason we didn't really catch on to them re-releasing the same exact figures I mean I can't I guess we kind of ca caught on but it was less noticeable because you had guys like Roman Reigns and Goldberg in there which looked the exact same like their gear doesn't change that much but to have Cena in this wave and then to have Roman Reigns when we've seen so many Roman Reigns in the top picks waves and the main elite line just kind of threw everything off man but we do have a brand new Seth Rollins figure that we've been waiting on for a very long time we have the Hell in a Cell Dusty Rhodes troll gear and I think this looks like a wonderful figure I think it looks awesome you guys know I love Seth Rollins so this is looking epic to me but the other two figures you're getting John Cena Elite 95 re-released it's the exact same figure which would be this right here and then on the Roman Reigns figure you're getting the Elite 103 Roman Reigns with the boot graphics and everything and this shirt doesn't come with it this is just the shirt that my Roman Reigns has on right there. That's from my man PWR Lucha. That would probably fix the Roman Reigns thing. I think people would be more likely to grab the Roman Reigns figures if they would just throw a shirt in there. I think, you know, I know they throw shirts in there, but especially with these modern things, just, just change the shirt graphic, man. Change the shirt graphic. I think people would be more than happy to pick that thing up, but if you guys are unaware, this is Elite 95 Cena. It looks very similar to his previous, like, John Deere gear with the green and yellow, and it's not anything, like, immaculate, but it's still a damn good figure. I actually like this figure a whole lot. You know, it's got like the sleek back hair and what have you. So that's a solid little football figure right there. And then we do have the Tribal Chief here. And this is the same head sculpt we saw with the Amazon exclusive Tribal Chief and Beast Incarnate 3 pack. And it is the same head sculpt that we saw in his Elite 103 figure that will be featured in this Top Talents wave. And again, I did just add the shirt in there, but he's got the boot graphics on there. So these figures are not anything crazy. If you guys want to see what the Roman Reigns and Elite 95 John Cena are all about, just go watch our Elite 95 Cena and Elite 103 Roman Reigns figure reviews. But the focus is not on these guys today. The focus is on this bad boy. So here's our Seth Rollins figure. He's got his Dusty Rhodes shirt in there. You guys can see Seth freaking Rollins added to the packaging. Top picks, must-have superstars, big WWE logo. I don't like the packaging, but who am I, Brad? Lights are too bright for me. On the side, you get top picks, Seth Rollins there. And then on the back, you do get a nice graphic of Rollins. And then you do have the little bio read and the rest of the figures in the wave, which we just discussed. Look, the, the render image is even the same for Cena. So... I think it would have been cool to see some new gears or some gears we haven't seen, but you do have his name and all the good stuff on the side, man. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack Seth Rollins out of his packaging, find out what he's about, and see how this Seth Rollins top picks compares to other WWE Elite Seth Rollins of the past. All right, so here's our Seth Rollins out of the packaging, and I know it's not the rotating base, all right? I still haven't got the battery for it, all right? Just slow the hell down, Brad. But this isn't bad. It's kind of a stagnant look at the figure. It's just kind of chilling there. You can see the back of the packaging. The only thing is, is he isn't spinning 360 degrees right there. However, if you guys want to look at this guy and just kind of get a little 360 module of him right here, look right here. How would it look if I just sat here and span him just by myself? I just sat here and just spun him around right there. Would that be all right with you? But this figure is pretty damn clean, man, and I'm really appreciating some different factors about it. But before we dive in, into the figure itself. Let's take a look at the accessories and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the figure itself, do some comparisons and see how well this Seth Rollins performs versus our other versions of Seth freaking Rollins. Alright guys, so getting into Seth Rollins accessories, you don't get a whole ton. You get a shirt, you get some interchangeable hands, but I think that completes the look. I don't think you need a ton going on with this Rollins figure. Maybe a kendo stick would have been cool, but we do get our Dusty Rhodes tee, our polka dot tank top right here, which looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty nice. I think they matched up the pattern pretty well here. Fits the figure nice as you guys I saw and it is velcro and it does have stuff on the back so it's not like they just cut off the dots it isn't velcro less like we've seen other shirts be from wwe and mattel and stuff like that but at least it fits the figure well and it's cloth goods you know we're not going to complain about the cloth goods easily could have done this in rubber and we'd all throw it the hell out in the yard and we'd all be bishing about it so this is nice i, lo I love to see this this is the only way they should do these things and i think they nailed it completely i don't have any issues with it and it's cool because dusty Rhodes in the past has come with shirts just like this they were also velcro 
Velcro, and they were also cloth goods, so that's nice. So you do get your cloth goods accessory, and then for our interchangeable hands, we do get our mic holding slash weapon wielding hands. We come back to the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard entrance handshaking style hands, you know, like the hands open wide or whatever the hell Creed style. And then we do get the pointer fingers for our Seth Rollins for each hand, so you know you can come out, point at people, tell them to shut the hell up. All right, guys, so getting into Seth Rollins, starting out the head sculpt. This is the screaming head sculpt we saw in his Ultimate Edition, which is actually a pretty quality head sculpt. I like it, but I will say, I feel like it sits a little bit low on the neck, which I'll show you guys in just a moment, but pretty solid head sculpt. Going down, we do have our Seth Rollins torso here. They do have chest hair on it, which is really the biggest thing with the Seth Rollins torso. I think they used the right one. Now, it's the same one they used for Finn Balor, Cody Rhodes. I, I like this torso choice for Seth Rollins a lot. Double jointed arms. He does have the white wrist tape on there, which is accurate. You know, I'm going to be honest, this isn't my favorite gear, but I do love the troll job of it, right? I like the black and the yellow polka dots when he's trolling Dusty and Cody and the Hell in a Cell match. All good stuff. Not my favorite gear ever, though. Even though I think the moment is bigger than the gear, right? I think that it is a moment that should be captured in figure form. But, like, objectively, I don't like the gear. You know what I mean? Spinning it around, you do have all the polka dots going on. I think they did a really good job, again, of capturing, like, the location of these different polka dots. But it's just black with yellow polka dots. Nothing too immaculate or crazy. But then we get to the white kick pads, and it does have the same pattern that was on Dusty's cowboy boots, which I think is really nice. So you have the white with the yellow covering it right there. Very clean. Like, I'm not seeing any see-through. You know, usually when you try to put yellow or something over black, you can easily see, like, it'd be really faint or it'll be thin or it won't be quite as thick and it won't cover well. But it seems like this is covering very, very nicely. So they did a good job on that. You got the white kick pads again looking pretty good. Looking like SpongeBob or something. I don't know. It's just the vibes it gives me across the top right there. However, I mean, this figure feels immaculate, man. Tight waist. Like, the arms are tight. I'm not getting any of that loose arm joint or upper shoulder or anything like that. He is on ball joints, of course. He is Seth Rollins. It is the new formula, so he's going to be able to pose around with the best of them. You know, Seth Rollins, before his formula update, was damn good. Now, I mean, he is some of the best figures you're going to see, man. Just the quality on this guy is immaculate and just, just so damn good. But let's get into some figure comparisons with our Seth Rollins Top Picks Elite. So for our first batch of comparisons, we do have the Defining Moments Hill in a Cell Torn Pet Cody Elite over here, ringside exclusive. We have the Top Pick Seth in the middle. And we do have the WrestleMania Elite Dusty Rhodes over here with his polka dot gear that we just recently got last year. And this looks pretty cool up next to each other. You guys can see... The clear troll job by Seth Rollins. He did an excellent job getting in the head and the mind games of Cody Rhodes. That matchup was so fantastic as well. Spectacular matchup there, but it is cool to see these figures from this matchup together in figure form. Matchup feels like it happened yesterday, and now we have figures of it in figure form. We figured we would get figures from this match, but it is finally cool to see these. And this figure should be really easy to obtain because it is a top picks figure, so that is really nice. But out of all threes, if I had to rank these, I'd probably go one, two, three. You know, I just the posability on the Dusty Rhodes figures aren't the best, and the legs felt like they're going to snap off. But it is a really nice Dusty, and I'm glad to have it. But the Torn Pet Cody is one of my favorite elites we've seen all year. I, I just I love this figure right here. So this is very nice. The gear is nice. Everything about it. I mean, the head sculpts, yeah, we, we've talked about it. If you guys missed our review of this figure, you definitely need to go check that out of the Defining Moments Cody. But this Seth Rollins is very nice as well. And then for our Seth Rollins figure comparisons, again, we do have the top pick Seth Rollins over here, not the Elite 93. Kind of built him up a little bit, so he'd have like some different accessories. And then we do have the Ultimate Edition over here. And you guys can see, I just feel like the head sits a little bit low on this one. And it's probably just because of the torso. You know, this head sculpt was made for this figure specifically. This one doesn't look as bad on this Elite over here. So I think you could put this over here and that would probably make it look a little bit better there. But still cool to see these up next to each other. I would like to see some more colorful Seth Rollins. And hopefully, yeah, I know we are getting, what is it, Elite 108 Seth Rollins, I think, has the new championship. And it's going to be a bright, colorful gear. Probably that cheetah and blue gear, possibly. And then we do have his other fan take of Ultimate Edition that's coming soon. So... We'll see about all those things, man, but it is cool to see these Seth Rollins up next to each other and get some comparisons in there. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our WWE Elite Top Pick Seth Rollins, John Cena, and Roman Reigns review. I know it really wasn't a John Cena, Roman Reigns review. It was more about the Seth Rollins figure, but they are included in this, and I wanted to get that out of the way and kind of showcase what you're going to get out of those top picks figures when you're talking about the John Cena and the Roman Reigns, but I really enjoyed this Seth Rollins. I think that it is very quality. I like the Dusty Rhodes gear. I like that we're getting this Hell in a Cell matchup confirmed finally. Now we just need a Hell in a Cell play set real scale to go with these figures for sure, man, but I highly recommend the Seth Rollins. You know, it, it. I don't think it's necessarily must-have, but if you have the Torn Pet Cody, why not go ahead and get the Rollins to pair with it on your display, you know? Uh, I mean, why, why wouldn't you do that? But it is a moment in time and a big thing, and if you guys are a Seth Rollins fan or whatnot, definitely need to go grab this thing, man, but 
that is going to wrap the video up, man. If you guys want these figures, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate their kindness and support on the channel. But outside of that, that is going to wrap up our review of this top pick, Seth Rollins, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me a like and a comment down below what you think of the Rollins, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>